Hi, I'm Jessica Brozig. I am a product specialist with Industrial Controls, Safety and Sensors for Warner Electric. Today we're going to be covering the GuardLink Safety Relay. I'm going to show you how to configure it. It's very quick, it's very easy. So we're going to go ahead and go over the GuardLink Relay configuration. There are a couple of LEDs on here that um, you're going to want to know what they mean. So we'll go over those and a couple of buttons. There's a little dial. Um, with this, there is a user manual that you will be able to find. Either you can Google it or on the literature library at ab.com. So in the user manual, um, publication 440R-UM015D on page 51 actually goes over the different LEDs for the configuration. So if you notice that there's um, a table, table nine. So the status indicators, and I'm gonna go over those um, in a moment, it tells you what they function as and what colors you want them to be selected in order to function the way you want it to function. So for instance, the out LED indicator, which is the second LED on the relay, is what you would use to select the number of safety functions. So with the guard link, um, a safety relay, you can actually pick two. So you can do either one input or two inputs. We're going to go ahead and select the one input, which would be the red LED. The second LED, which is in one, is either going to be a guard link option or a separate device, single device, which would be either an OSSD or an EMSS type input. Since we are using guard link, we're going to go ahead and go with the green option. Um, for input two, that's going to be a selection of either the GuardLink input on function two or, again, the OSSD or EMSS on the opposite. However, since we only have the GuardLink on here, we're just going to leave it blank and that will automatically um, select for us. Output X, that is actually um, an option between single wire safety or an OSSD. Um, with that, we're going to go ahead and go with the OSSD or the red function. Input X, um, that is going to be the activate the single wire safety or the OSSD input on X1. Um, but we are not going to be doing that. We're just going to disable input on X1. So we will select the red. The reset type, that's going to be either manual monitored reset or automatic reset. We're going to go ahead with the manual monitored reset because when we do hook up the other portion of this demo, we want the monitored reset. And then finally, the FB, which is the reset assignment, you're going to select either the reset on the output function or the reset on in one. Um, we are not going to be using this portion. So now we're going to actually go ahead and configure the relay. So there's two little buttons on here, one that says config set and select save. So config set is going to cycle you through the options and each LED will um, flash when you're on that selection. And then set save is going to set the selection. And I'll, you'll see when it goes through, pretty self-explanatory here. So. so to start it all off, we're going to go ahead and hit the config button and wait for a second and it'll flash. This means it's ready to go. I'm going to let it go and it's going to show you the existing configuration with the power fault and the out flashing. So the out is going to be your first selection and then you're going to pick between red or green depending on what you want. So um, first we're going to go ahead and select red based on the information that I told you earlier. Um, you can cycle through just by a short push. So we want red and then we're going to set. When we hit set, it goes down to the next one. So in, we're going to go with the green selection. Now it's already at green, so I don't necessarily have to, to select, but I'll show you, you can pick either or just by hitting that first button. So we're going to go with green for that one. And then for the um, in two, like I said before, it just skips it because we only have one input. Um, so we're at the out X and we're going to go ahead with the red. So I can just hit save select and it moves on down to the next one. So in X, we're also going to have a red. So this just disables the um, X1. And then we're down to the reset and we're going to go with a green reset. Um, I'll cycle through it again just so you can see. So green reset. And then the configuration actually skips the FB because it's already um, the reset and now they're all flashing their configuration. So we're going to hit save select one more time to go to the next step, which is actually your timer. So since it's on zero, nothing's flashing. Had I had it set to a different time, it would flash these bottom three 
LEDs the amount of time. So if it was four seconds, it would flash four LEDs. Wait for four seconds and then flash those four again. And so this is really what I want. I want it at zero. So we're gonna go ahead and save it. Hold it down for a second. It's gonna flash at us. And now it's gonna do a power cycle. And once it's all done, it's all set to go. And that is how easy it is to configure the relay. So now it's set, ready to go. If I really wanted to check to see what my configuration is, you just hit the config button really quick. And that's what I had it configured to. If you'd like to learn more on how to configure your safety relay or you have any additional questions, contact your Warner Electric account manager.